what do you think of the massive wave of immigrants that are coming to Sweden? Um, in what regard, what do I think of them? Uh, they're human beings. And the main reason that they're coming to Sweden is because European countries, Western powers, Canada, United States, Europe, uh, mainly Canada, United States, and Europe have bombed the crap out of their nations and they're escaping death and destruction, right? Gaddafi, Zed Art, Gaddafi warned the world that if Libya was raised to the ground, right, was destroyed, if NATO destroyed it, then the doors would open up and there'd be millions of refugees coming from Africa to Europe. The world didn't care. Well, I shouldn't say the world didn't care. The Western powers did not care. The UK, France, Italy, Canada, United States, they destroyed Libya, right? Who's responsible for the mass migration of refugees and asylum seekers into Europe? Sarkozy, Cameron, Obama, uh, Harper, and uh, uh, who I forget uh, who, who was the Italian uh, leader at the time when they were bombing uh, Libya, right? That's my take. Okay, that's my take. I think it's good. Should others take responsibility as well? I think the Western powers need to take responsibility. I think Zed Art, how Western countries, Europe, stop mass migration of refugees, asylum seekers, those who are fleeing war, right? I think the way you stop that wave coming in, and it's going to get more and more, by the way, right? The way you stop that, right now, right now, you arrest Cameron, you arrest Blair, you, you arrest Sarkozy, you arrest any leader that was in power, when they invaded Iraq, started a war in Syria, destroyed Libya, armed Saudi Arabia to annihilate Yemen. You arrest all the leaders, put them at the Hague, war, trial, war, uh, war crimes trials, because the Hague, it looks like they're only taking African leaders and charging them with war crimes? What about the Western leaders and charging them with war crimes? Charge them with war crimes, telecast that around the globe, on TV, apologizing to the world that the Western powers allowed these leaders to kill millions of people and displace tens of millions, and tell the world that you will never do it again what you will see is slowly people will stop coming that towards Europe and they'll start going back to their home nations to build their lives again. Because I can guarantee you, man, majority of people that are migrating to other nations, they would rather not go. They wish, they wish they could stay in their own countries Look at Honduras, look at Bolivia, look at Venezuela, look at El Salvador, right? Most of them would rather stay in their own nations, speak their own language, be with their friends and family, live their culture, dance, sing, cook food, right? Educate their children, then packing a bag and going on a multi-thousand dollar a multi-thousand kilometer miles of dangerous territory to go to a nation where the people there don't want them right really the only way this mass migration stops to the western world if western leaders that committed war crimes are put on trial including cheney bush rumsfeld wolfowitz and the the like right and the Hillary's and the Obamas, right?